From a house designed to fit in with its surroundings to an aviary where the inhabitants used to fit in with their native surroundings, but whose brilliant tropical colours are as incongruous in England as seeing vultures fed by kiddies in Trafalgar Square. These fishers lovebirds from Tanganyika are now prospering under the expert care of Flight Lieutenant Colin Russell at his home in Beltham, Middlesex. Four years ago, Flight Lieutenant Russell found a stray budgerigar in the garden and was unable to trace the owner. From this small beginning, he built his collection to its present strength of over a hundred birds. The aviary contains feathered representatives of almost as many different countries as the United Nations. They come from Australia, Tanganyika, Ceylon, India, Brazil, Guyana and Guatemala to mention only a few. And probably because they don't talk as much as their human counterparts, they make a good job of peaceful coexistence. Before any bird lovers decide to start an aviary like this, it's as well to remember that the running cost is 30 to 40 shillings a week, to say nothing of the time involved. The more exotic the bird, the higher the price. A pair of plum-headed parakeets, for instance, costs about 45 to 50 pounds. At that price, you can call me plum-headed too. The various birds are as diet conscious as human gourmets. Some like titbits of cactus, Others prefer a slab of chocolate, sow thistle, or even currant buns. Mac, the aptly named macaw, is a friendly bird who, fortunately, has no special yen for lumps of human ear. Perhaps as one flyer to another, he just talks shop into it. <laughs> 